Two people are recovering tonight following a drive-by shooting in Providence. And the victims were on their way home from a midnight basketball league, which was recently reintroduced as a way to steer young people away from violence. But police insist the shooting and the league are not connected. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands joins us live now with new details on the investigation. Shannon and Mike, Providence police are part organizers of Midnight Basketball. They said that, that that shooting had absolutely nothing to do with the new league. The capital city's Midnight Basketball League is back. Organizers say the 30,000 privately funded five-week program is designed to reduce violence. But Providence police say one hour after the first games ended Tuesday night, there was a drive-by shooting. Two men, a 46 and 38 year old, were shot on Donaldson Street and rushed to Rhode Island Hospital. They're expected to survive. Eyewitnesses told police two men were spectators at Davis Park, one of the four courts simultaneously hosting Midnight Basketball. I was clearly not involved with the Midnight Basketball League. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says the shooting happened several miles away on the outskirts of Chad Brown Public Housing Complex. Detectives also confirmed to Eyewitness News that there was no incidents at the game involving the victims that would have prompted that shooting. You know, unfortunately, we have too much, too much violence, too much gun violence, too many guns on the street. Providence Police and Mayor Jorge Alorza helped organize the league. 320 players make up eight teams that play on Tuesdays and Thursdays. With no arrests yet in the Donaldson Street shooting, police are hopeful the league will help curb violence. This is a part of the community comprehensive plan for safety, and uh, we're going to continue, you know, uh, supporting it because we think it'll have an impact on so many disputes and conflicts that are happening in the city. And I've reached out to Mayor Jorge Alorza several times throughout the day via email and phone calls. No response yet. Reporting live in the control room, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.